Okay, so this presentation is the second part of our previous discussion in conservation of energy. Okay, so in our previous discussion, all the types of energies included in the system for conservation of energy are now discussed. Okay, so by this time, we are now going to consider the steady flow energy equation, okay, or SFEE. So, this is the second corollary of the first law uh, of conservation of energy, okay. So, the principle applied to open system. So, and therefore, uh, the mass and energy... Uh, crossing the systems uh, thermodynamics boundary are considered constant okay so mass as the mass uh, crosses the thermodynamic boundary it doesn't change okay so considering the illustration below uh, the slide so we will notice that the previous energy uh, discussed and the first part of the topic so is now present in the system so like say for example the potential energy at one here okay so at point one kinetic energy the flow work or the flow energy internal energy and enthalpy and take note that q is also included okay same as for at point two there is also a potential energy at point two kinetic energy at two flow work at two internal energy at two and the enthalpy at two so take note that in the law of conservation of energy there is no degradation of energy but the energies involved are only changed into another form of energy okay so take note that the system also involved work so take note that the consideration of heat and work here are positive so take note if q is toward the system or heat is toward the system heat is positive and if work is uh, coming from the system the work is considered positive okay so let us now proceed to the equation so let us take an energy balance from the previous illustration okay so energy entering is equal to energy leaving so what are those energy entering the system and what are those energy leaving okay so entering is potential energy one kinetic energy one then uh, workflow at one internal energy at one enthalpy at one q is equals to potential energy at two kinetic energy at two flow work at 2 plus internal energy at 2 plus enthalpy 2 plus work okay so take note that this is now the general equation for steady flow okay so let us now consider again the units of energy so take note uh, in our previous discussion uh, in part one we already discussed okay so let us again uh, analyze okay the units of the energy involved in this topic okay so again q is equals to mcp delta t so this is for open system so, 
CP is equals to 1 BTU per pound degree Frankine. Okay? This is the same as with 1 BTU per pound mass of water degree Fahrenheit. Okay? So that is a British thermal unit. So we know that a British thermal unit it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 pound of water through 1 degree Fahrenheit. Or the change in degree Fahrenheit of 1 is the same as with the change in degree Rankine. Okay? So take note that the water is at 14.7 PSI at atmospheric pressure. Okay? Okay, another is kilocalorie. So, what is kilocalorie? So, this is an MKS. Okay? So, kilocalorie is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram of water through 1 degree Celsius or 1 degree Kelvin. So, take note that the change in temperature in Celsius is the same as with the change in temperature in Kelvin. Okay? So, take note that the atmospheric pressure is equivalent to 1.03 kilogram per centimeter square. Same as with 14.7 PSI in English and that is also 101.325 in PSI. Okay? So, therefore, the specific heat now of water is equivalent to 1 kilocalories per kilogram Kelvin. Okay? So, again, kilojoule. So, kilojoule is the amount of it required to raise the temperature of 0.2388 kilogram mass of water through 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin at 101.325 kilopascal or simply the equivalent is 4.187 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Okay? So, that is now the value of a specific heat at different standards. Okay? So, let us take this example. Okay? A centrifugal pump compresses 3,000 liters per minute of water from 98 kilopascal to 300 kilopascal. Okay? The inlet and outlet temperature are okay, 250 degrees. Okay? So the inlet and discharge piping are on the same level. So there is no such change in potential energy here. So because the inlet and outlet is at or are at the same level. So, but the diameter of the inlet piping is 15 centimeter, whereas that of the discharge piping is 10 centimeter. Determine the pump work in kilowatts. Okay. So, take note again. Energy entering are the same as with the energy, or is the same as with the energy leaving. Okay. So. Take note, uh, bringing down the energies involved from the original equation, okay? So, writing now up here, and then eliminating those energies which are not present, and then the remaining energy involved is equal to Kinetic energy, flow work, and then work. So, potential energy is eliminated. Internal energy is also eliminated. So, there is no change in temperature between the system, uh, between the two states uh, points, rather. Okay? There is no enthalpy involved. Okay? And there is no heat transferred from the system okay 
So, kinetic energy na plus flow work at 1 is equal to kinetic energy at 2. Flow work at 2 plus work. So, by this time, we are now going to determine the work. So, by transposing those uh, parameters to the left, we now uh, get, okay. So, but before that, let us first determine the velocities at the inlet and the discharge since kinetic energy is involved, okay? So, from continuity equation, Q1 is equals to Q2, okay? So, where Q1 is equals to area or the cross-sectional area at 1 at the inlet rather, okay? Multiplied by the inlet velocity is also equal to the cross-sectional area at 2 and the velocity at 2. So, take note that the discharge is 3,000 uh, 3, liter per minute, okay? So, substituting the values and then the velocity now at 1 is equal to 2.83 meter per second and at point 0.2 6 point 37 meter per seconds. Okay? So, again, the equation kinetic energy at 1 plus flow work at 1 is equal to kinetic energy at 2 plus flow work at 2 plus W. Okay? Substituting values, kinetic energy at 1 equals to 1 half mb square. Okay? So, substituting values, the value now of W is negative 10.91 kilowatts. Okay? So, I think it is clear. Okay? Next example. An air compressor compresses air with enthalpy of 96.5 kilojoules per kilogram to a pressure and temperature that have an enthalpy of 175 kilojoules per kilogram. So, there are 35 kilojoules per kilogram of heat lost from the compressor as the air passes through it. Okay? So, neglecting kinetic energy and potential energies determine the power required for an air mass flow of 0.4 kilogram per second. Okay? So, this is uh, very easy. Okay? So, Using now the original equation for steady flow energy and then eliminating those energies which are not involved. Okay, the remaining energies, of course, is or are enthalpy, heat added, and then the final enthalpy and the work. Okay, so substituting values now for enthalpy is what... Uh, the mass multiplied by the enthalpy and then mass multiplied by the heat transferred plus h sub 2 175 times 0.4 plus w where w now is equal to negative 454 so why is it negative so because the system is a compressor wherein w is done to the system. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay? So, that's all.